After defeating the kingdom Hello army, there, kingdom my fellow Israel humanitarians. Welcome back Imperial to what I, what I think the is the final battle. episode the final battle of Fire on Three Houses. You'll know. I won't. So, we have finally arrived. It has been a very, very long road. Why are you here, Uncle? We haven't prevailed just yet. Even better. I decided I wanted to see the end with my own eyes. The very moment that humans will finally be free from the control of that false beast of a goddess. Understood. Behold to your heart's content. Just don't get in our way. Of course. I could not stand to be dragged into the fighting. When this fight is over, a world completely controlled by the Empire will be upon us. Not completely. I will only do what I must. But until our reign becomes stable... Uncle, no, all of you. I believe that your power and knowledge may be essential during that time of transition. Perhaps so. We also will do what we must. For that short while, we will lend you our strength. Yes. We're counting on you, for now. Professor, may I speak with you? I know the timing is less than ideal, but there's something I need to tell you. I imagine you've already sensed it, but even still, I must tell you the truth, of the power you wield and of what you are. I expected as much. You, like Rhea, share a bloodline with the so-called goddess. Your mother likely had some connection to the goddess, whose power has always been sleeping within you. Five years ago, when your power awakened, I was afraid you would choose to join with Rhea. I did. As you know, my goal is to free our world from the control of Rhea and the other children of the goddess. I seek to obliterate her, as well as those around her who use the church's power to control Fodlin. I swore to free the people from Rhea by striking her down, whether or not it meant making an enemy of you. And yet, you came to my aid and chose to walk with me on the path against Rhea. I was overjoyed, of course. But I was also confused. I thought that perhaps it wasn't the path you were meant to take. But I chose to trust in you, to rely on you and your strength. And now, here we are. Thank you for listening, my teacher. I'm glad I finally had the chance to talk to you about it. After Rhea is gone from this world, I don't know what will become of you. But whatever happens, I hope you know that you're very special to me. I hope that I hold a special place in your heart as well. But regardless, it's time. Let's go, Professor. Alright, guys. <sighs> okay. I think it's the final up. Oh, do we not have time to like do stuff? The kingdom capital, oh, only to be confronted by Rhea, It really is the final the march Olympics. against the final the boss, Dragon Girl. Itself for an epic battle, hoping to soon return Fodlan to its people. All right, but all right, everyone. Mm, we're going straight into this battle. Whew. Okay. To end to the end of a dream. Rhea, members of the Church of Saros, surely there's no need to continue this fight. What could be gained by shutting yourselves inside the capital of a kingdom without a king? I will give you this one chance and no other. Throw down your weapons and surrender. Unlike you, I have no desire to unleash wicked atrocities upon this world. Their silence speaks volumes. Shall we commence our attack? I'll wait just a moment longer. 
there are still many residents within the city. Unlike my attack on Garrick Mock five years ago, the church will not allow the inhabitants to evacuate. What the hell are they planning? Lady Rhea, or rather, Lady Saros, the Imperial Army is calling for our surrender. Is it wise to ignore them? Perhaps we could leave Fodlin and devise another plan. We shall not surrender. Ah. Uh, we must not lose. I kind of wanted time to prepare. Split the heavens. We shall not Oh no. I don't have the sort of the creator to rely on. Where's silver bow? I'm guilty no matter what. Until my last moment of life. Okay. I'll stay by your side too. Forever. Now, Catherine. Wait, set what? Fire to the city. The Imperial Army will burn in the flames of eternal torment. What? No, you can't do that. Catherine. Now. As... As you wish. But is there truly no other way? I have no patience for foolish questions. I shall sacrifice as many lives as it takes. That apostate who insists on taking everything from me will be what? crushed by my own hands. Wait a minute. Oh no. That ghastly voice. Your Majesty, there's smoke coming from every corner of the capital. It seems they've set fire to the city. What? Damn it, Rhea. There really is no depth you wouldn't see. Oh my god. Everyone, uh, commence our attack at that's once. a really Are change in character for Rhea, but I mean. Say the word. Oh. When we attack, we'll head straight for the castle and strike down their leader. Rhea, that vile creature called the Immaculate One. This is the end of our long war. After this victory, Fodlin will finally be united and truly free. The capital we're about to invade is engulfed in flames. Do not rush to your deaths. Survive. Prevail. Do that and we'll witness the birth of a new world. I want to see it with all of you at my side. Understood? Of course. I will not fall and leave you without your protector. And you may live to see your dream come to fruition. For that, I shall survive and prevail. I am carrying the future of Bridget. I will not be dying here. I will be All right. for myself and for everyone. Um. I will be surviving. We've been cutting our own path this whole way. There's no stopping until we reach the end. I can't die, or all my great work so far will have been wasted. Don't worry about me, AD. I won't fall before I've found my happily ever after. Maybe when this war is over, I can finally snag a good catch and settle down. Somehow we're already here. I wonder if the peace we secure will allow me to research as much as I'd like. If so, let's end this quickly. Edelgard, Professor, I'll do my best for both of you. If I die here, it would be with shame and regret. Oh, if I die here, I'll be that. crying for the rest of my the life. Is united. <laughs> I'll be crying for the rest of the series. And the professor. I'll never be able to let it down. Safely to victory. My pride and duty as a noble demand no less, as do my own principles. Strike force, move out. Oh, no, not Gerald. Mm, Gerald. All right, so this is it the final showdown, I guess. I think we're getting thrown straight into it. If I knew that we were going to get thrown straight into that, then I would have prepared a lot more. Okay. 
Inventory items. Oh, we still do have this this thing, but now we can take. We can take this brave bow. I think it's fitting to have old members here, battalions. Ah, uh, can't have. I even as much as I like their, I love as much as I like them. Dries's battalion. I think it's time to bring out. Uh. I think it's time to bring out uh, the ones that we've had waiting in the back line. Never mind. Everyone else is fine, I guess. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Units. Unassign you. Units. Do this again, unassign you, put you in, and... and yeah. Okay. We're gonna save right before this, because only you can prevent lost save data, and fight. to see the kingdom capital go up and we finally stand before the palace those who stand with fire raging all over the city our enemies won't be able to advance instead they may try to defeat us with small squads of elite warrior indeed i suspect as much and at their head is the one who stole my mother from me and likely that mutinous whelp edelgard the whole city's burning <laughs> this isn't good. I'm flammable, you know. If possible, we must be avoiding the flame and be careful of strong enemies. If we want to minimize our losses, we will need to be flexible in our approach. Okay. What's my strategy? Another victory. I do this for all of us. What? No, what? Are you kidding me? You have plus ten to hit. Come on, Bernie. I expect better. There we go. Bernie's <laughs> unstoppable. More fighting. More fighting. left on this rose and then move you up for the empire and put me in there yeah just wait you there and do that okay okay i'll cut a bloody path i will prevail Ready when you are. <sighs> huh. Let's attack this twice. We'll move you here. 
we're just gonna we're gonna have we're gonna do the exact opposite as they think we're gonna do because i don't want to fight two of those things these things are actually just annoying to deal with so so long Understood. farewell one two What's my strategy? All is going to plan. Okay, so we're just gonna have to... Gilbert, yeah, we should just deal with Gilbert. Oh. Why did they have to set it on fire? Oh, Ash is still alive. We, we don't need to kill Ash. And Anne Annette with Crusher. <laughs> Why does she have a giant axe? What is what, actually? I think the smarter idea is to go after Ash, go through here, up, and then straight to the Dragon Queen or the Immaculate One, which is the commander, I guess. Which is the final boss as well, so. And that's the smartest decision to go through. Try to just dodge through, dodge and weave through these guys. I could just move, move you up here and then just attack Meteor. Our pride, our people, our king. You've torn them all apart. Haven't you had enough? What else is there for you to take? Uh, I'm sorry about this, Ash. I really am. <laughs> I wouldn't normally die. Ah, you, you were supposed to be my boy. I was supposed to pick you up before this game ended, but uh, lo and behold, here you are in the last mission. It's funny that they allow you to, like, just completely dodge their characters. Okay, the Immaculate Roar saves only the righteous. What? Her howl was unadulterated magic. I didn't know such a display of power was possible. That roar seems to have affected the doll's movements. Whenever the Immaculate One howls, those dolls become stronger. Doesn't mean we have to deal with them. It really doesn't. So, we're not. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ash. I really am. Alright, alright. Oh, wait, this thing is coming to- Oh, no! <laughs> Ugh, they're really confining my movements here, and I can't damage that. Well... Okay. You can retreat from this battle? Wait. Why would they allow you to retreat? Can't pull back yet. Brave foe. 
Okay, and then we just do another 14 in a row again. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, then we're gonna need to touch the fire for to do this. Break down its second gauge health bar. Type thing in I think. Doesn't it have a weakness to live? 311s will do pretty cool. Would be a lot of damage though. So. Oh, you can actually do damage now. Okay, one. This is my stage now. Okay, and then you here assist physique. Bada bing, bada boom. I know you want. See, since it says it just says the commander, I don't think we can. We don't. We don't have to kill like every character on the field. It might help, but I don't think we need to, which is nice. On that note, though, I think we're coming close to a good place to put a pause on this because this is going to take a little while due to the fact that it is a final boss. Final bosses and fire emblem. Final boss maps and fire them take quite a bit. I feel weak. One of us has to die. Let's win or die. She is a grandmother, so you cannot beat her. I'm impressed. Combat arcs, curve shot, silver bow. One, two, three, go. I'll be home again soon. Oh, he's the strongest drive. It won't be blow. Ooh. Oh, 56. Let's go. Still here. Not we'll be back. Get the heels on. But yeah, I think this is a good place to end off the episode. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. It's been Red's Awesome signing out. Ciao for now.